This video is sponsored by Squarespace. As a photographer, shooting in direct sunlight can be a nightmare. Take me for example. I'm not, I'm not a nightmare, but I avoided shooting in direct sunlight for many years because it was a nightmare for me. I was very intimidated by it. My photos either came out too dark or too light. It was all over the place. So I just didn't shoot with that type of light until recently when I started practicing more and more, I actually started to fall in love with this type of light. I have so many tips and tricks to give you guys on how to get the best looking photos using this type of light. My first tip is to always underexpose. This tip, I feel like when people see a really dark photo in the back of their camera, they freak out and they're like, oh my, it's too dark. Like, I need to brighten it up. It needs to be super bright. You don't necessarily want a bright photo. And let me tell you why. The harsh light is already hitting the skin and brightening up everything. You want to be able to save all that detail so when you pull it up in post-processing, you can make adjustments, you can bring out the shadows, highlights, all that stuff. You can't do that if you're already shooting it really bright. So just go down a stop or two. If you are shooting at let's say 1.8 as your f-stop, maybe go to 2.0 or maybe go to 2.5, something like that. Just so again, you're bringing back those details, you're saving the skin details, especially shooting in direct sunlight, skin's just gonna be super bright. You know, again, we have the sun hitting all these things, especially if you're shooting weddings, you really wanna be careful. Bride is wearing a white dress, so you wanna save the details in that white dress. So you always wanna expose for certain things. I'll show you guys some examples of a well-exposed image and then one that's a little bit underexposed so you can see the difference. And for me, I always choose the photo that's underexposed. Another tip, watch your shadow. I know, literally watch your own shadow. You, ever, you know Peter Pan, his shadow? Just think Peter Pan. Because sometimes when you're shooting in direct sunlight, naturally if you were in front of the model and the sun is maybe setting or it's really high up your shadow will be cast on the model you'll end up in the picture like your shadow will end up in the picture or it will cover like parts of the outfit just because you try to take a photo right in front of the model so you really want to be careful watch your angles so sometimes when my shadow ends up in the photo all i will do is really just move to the side and find an angle in which my shadow does not show it takes a little bit of scooting you know scoot to the side a little bit it happened to me so many times my shadows in so many pictures because I, again I wasn't really paying attention always watch your shadows and make sure that they're not covering models outfit or the model we love our shadows I love my shadow it goes with me everywhere but sometimes I just it doesn't have to be there you know Peter Pan Peter Pan have you ever tried to take a photo like on your iPhone in front of a window or something and it's way too bright out and you just start squinting and the, it's like burning your eyeballs is that just me? <laughs> but you still try to take the picture. You're like, no, I, I got this, I got this, yeah. And then you take it and you just look crazy. Imagine being a model and having to stand in direct sunlight and have your eyes wide open for all these pictures for like 20, 30 minutes. Definitely gets really tough. You're gonna have squinting, watering eyes. Especially if the models have lighter colored eyes, it's going to be even more difficult for them to keep their eyes open for these shots. So what I would say is work with the model. If they are struggling, offer to switch up the location, their angle, maybe have their hand covering their eye. It could make it for a really cool shot. Maybe you could cue them into the photo by having them close their eyes and then counting from one, two, three, and then you take the shot and you have them open their eyes on three. You can do a couple of these things, but if you notice a model is visibly struggling and is like, yeah, um, no, I'm fine. You need to step in and say something. Models will always try their hardest to, you know, do the best job that they can. What I would say is just be really considerate and make sure that you're asking the model if they're okay and if they're able to do that. Maybe think about what time of day you take these photos at. If you do want the models to be a little bit more comfortable in direct sunlight, I love to shoot during golden hour. You get nice direct sunlight that is very soft and a lot easier on the eyes. Golden hour, my favorite tip ever. And try to plan your shoots either super early in the day when the sun is rising 
or as the sun is setting. So an hour or two before the sun sets, just check your weather app and see when the sun is about to set. Again, plan your photo shoot an hour or two before that. You'll get the most beautiful sunlight. I would choose a place where there's no buildings blocking the sunlight, maybe like a meadow or a street that you know that has no, nothing that will obstruct the sun as it's setting. Again, you'll get the most beautiful, soft, gorgeous light and you'll get some really nice pictures. And if you're willing to wake up at like five in the morning, do a photo shoot in the morning. Again, you get some very pretty light. Sun is rising, it's soft. It's definitely worth waking up for if you, if you, can wait, if you wanna wake up that early. Reflectors and diffusers are great tools for shooting in direct sunlight, but please be careful using a reflector when it's direct sunlight on a model because you're essentially beaming more light into their face. So again, it can be very uncomfortable. Always wanna ask the model, hey, is that okay? Is that too much? When I'm using a reflector, I try to taper it off so it's just hitting the side of the shadows. It's filling in those harsh contrasted shadows and making the photo a lot lighter. And again, you just wanna be, be careful using that. Diffusers, you can use them by holding them up to where the sun is hitting. It's creating a lot softer light. I would definitely recommend a diffuser too. You can take some gorgeous portraits, just softening up that direct light so that it's less harsh on the model. Direct sunlight is gonna show every detail in the skin, the hair, and especially the clothes. So you wanna make sure Clothes are ironed, smooth, you don't have wrinkles, creases, folds. You want to be meticulous about things like that when shooting in this type of light because it will show everything. Direct sunlight will snitch on you if you don't iron your clothes. I'm just saying. I've done photo shoots where we had like a wrinkled shirt or a wrinkled dress. And I was like, oh, it's, it'll be okay. It doesn't, it's not even gonna show. No, it showed, it literally showed everything. Direct sunlight was like, hey, uh, you forgot to iron this. Let me show everybody how embarrassing you are. Oh, you got a microscopic hair right there. You don't think it's going to show? It's going to show. Before we continue, I want to talk about the sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can build a beautiful online presence and run your business. I've been using Squarespace for so many years. I have my online portfolio filled with so many of my images on there. I show that to clients, I show it to agencies, I show it to models when I wanna work with them. So it's extremely important to have a good looking website that's gonna represent you as a photographer. They have appointment scheduling, analytics, they have different designer templates. You can switch out the entire look of your website in a minute if you want. You're like, you don't like the way that your website looks, you can just switch it up. And what I love about Squarespace, especially as a photographer is the customizable galleries. You can change up how your images are seen. You can show before and afters. You can have ga different galleries. Like maybe you want your photos to be small thumbnails. Maybe you want a carousel. Maybe you want side by side, different types of sections for your different types of photography. You can do that so easily with Squarespace. Also, they have drag and drop features. You click your image, you drag it wherever you want it to go. And that's the, it's as easy as that. I just love the fact that it's easy to update. You know, you just did a photo shoot. You don't want to sit and, and worry about the coding and how am I going to up, update my website? Is it going to take long? It's super simple, super easy, not intimidating at all. So you can head to squarespace.com to start a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica and use my offer code. It's Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So check it out. All that information will be in the description. Lastly, always check your camera settings. When I'm shooting in direct sunlight, best believe every two seconds I'm looking at the back of my camera, I'm zooming in, making sure that we still have the details in the skin. I always change and adjust my settings based on the angle I'm taking the photo at, how the light is hitting. You always wanna be careful. Don't just start taking a, a billion pictures because the exposure was fine for that one shot, but then you moved and you didn't check it and now your photos are all overexposed. So constantly check your settings you need settings again that are going to save the details that just goes back to underexposing just a little bit so just constantly check your settings how low can you go your ISO that that's how you remember it. keep your ISO low just like you're doing the limbo there's no need to change it you have a bunch of light always make sure you adjust your f-stop check on the shutter speed see if it's doing okay you know how's the family how's everything you, you're fine 
and you will be good to go. Don't be intimidated shooting in direct sunlight. I really hope this video gives you even a little bit of confidence to go out there and try this type of light. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.